when it comes to zipline.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on uh, subtracting decimals, no? So, from the previous video, mag, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng maraming examples on how to subtract decimals, no? Pero dito, in particular, ang pag-aaralan natin is, paano ba tayo mag-subtract ng decimals kung hindi pareho yung uh, dami ng kanilang decimal numbers? So, for example, ito meron tayong uh, dalawang decimal numbers, dito meron tayong isa. So, paano tayo mag-subtract ng mga ganyan pag magkakaiba, no? So, let's have our first example. We have uh, 2.45 minus 1.2. Now, kung naalala nyo sa addition, pag wala, ta wala, nakasap wala tayong nakatapat na number, so for example, yung 5 na to, ang pinaka-safe na gagawin natin is lagyan natin ng 0. No? Kasi, uh, pag naglagi tayo ng 0 dito, hindi naman nababago itong value nito. No? So, it's the same pa rin, we're not changing the, the subtrahend. No? And then, pwede na tayo mag-minus, di ba? So, 5 minus 0 is 5. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then again, syempre magkatapat dapat yung decimal point. No? Katulad din siya ng addition. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay? So this is 1.25. By the way, hindi ko nabanggit, no? Ang rule sa, ang rule sa subtraction, pareho lang siya sa addition, dapat magkatapat yung mga decimal points. So let's have a uh, second example. We have 8.55 minus... 6.2. So, nandito pa rin yung point natin, no? 6.2. And again, wala tayong, walang katapat yung uh, 5, so pwede tayo maglagay ng 0. Meaning, we have 5 minus 0 is 5. Then, 5 minus uh, 2 is 3. And then, 8 minus 6 is okay. 2.35, no? 2.35. Next, we have 4.8 minus 2.65. 4.8 minus 2.8. Ito yung point, no? Dapat magkatapat. 65. Alin ang walang katapat dyan? Yung 5. So, pwede tayo maglagay na yung 0. Okay? But this time, uh, notice that pag nag-minus tayo, meron tayong, hindi pwede ang 0 to 0 minus 5. So, magbabaro tayo, magiging 10. Tapos mababawasan ito ng isa, magiging 7. So, 10 minus 5 is 5. Then, 7 minus 6 is 1. And then, yung decimal point, magkatapat pa rin. Then, 4 minus 2 is 2. So, this is 2.15. Okay. Next, we have 2.01. 1.1. So, magkatapat ulit. Dapat magkatapat yung decimal point. And then, wala itong kasama. So, wala siyang kasama yung 1. Wala siyang katapat. So, you can put 0. And then, 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1, cannot be, no? So, we borrow 1 from here. Pwede tayo mag-borrow sa whole number, no? So, pwedeng 10. And then, this becomes 1. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. And then, this is 0. 0 0.91. Next, we have 12.351 minus 6.8. Okay? Ilan ang walang katapat? Yung 1 tsaka 5, wala siyang katapat, di ba? Kasi yung 3 ang katapat niya, 8. Hindi lang maayos yung pagkakalagay ko, but uh, yung dalawang yung magkatapat yan. Okay, so magiging, pwede natin lagyan ng dalawang zeros. Parang tayo mali ito. So, 1 minus 0 is 1. 5 minus 0 is 5. 3 minus 8 is? Magiging 13 minus 8 yan, di ba? Cannot be. Cannot be yung uh, 3 minus 8. So, we have to borrow also here. 13 minus 8 is 5. And then you have the decimal point. And then 11 minus 6 is 5. So, 5.551. Okay, next, we have a whole number. 9 minus 0 0.53. 9 minus 0 0.53. 0 0.53. So, pag walang decimal, uh, pag whole number lang siya, pwede tayo maglagay ng 0 0.00. No? Kahit yan, 0 siya dyan, pwede yan kasi it doesn't change the, or they don't change the, the 
value of the number. So when you in 10, uh, 0 minus 3 can't be, so we borrow from here and then we also borrow from here by giving 8. So 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 5 is 2, and then we have 8. Or 9 minus 5 is 4. Sorry. 9 minus 5 is 4. That's 8.47. So 8.47. Namtay kulang na ano no na na example. Paano kung ang subtrahin daman natin yung whole number? So okay, maglag magdagdag lang tayo ng bago. We have uh, for example uh, 9.612 minus 6 for example. So again, we have to align no. We have to align decimal uh, points. Pero walang decimal point yung isa, so pwede natin lagyan ng 9.612 minus 6.000 para may mga katapat yung numbers dito. So, 2 pa rin yan. 2 minus 0 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. 6 minus 0 is 6. And then 9 minus 6 is 3. Okay? 3.612. Actually, you don't have to put this. You just bring down the, the um, numbers here kasi wala naman siyang katapat. So, pwede kayo mag-bring down. But again, tinitrain ko kayo na maglagay ng zero kasi minsan may mga cases na nakakalito. No? So, para mas consistent, kung gusto nyo, kung hindi kayo masyadong confident, lagyan nyo na lang ng zero. No? Kahit nasa taas man yun, nasa baba. Ito, ito kasi sa case na ito nasa taas. Okay, so, I hope ay eh, na kayo sa video series natin na ito. May igsi lang ito, no? pero uh, makabuluhan ito kasi uh, uh, it, Isa ito sa mga basic topics in elementary school mathematics. No? Dapat master nyo ito bago kayo umakyat no? ng algebra. Otherwise, mahihirapan kayo. No? So, maraming salamat. Uh, gusto ko yung invite sa sip9.com. Nandiyan yung ating mga videos sa kalista yan. So, sunod. And then, of course, kung nasa YouTube channel kayo, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.